We live in a golden age of content. You can watch or listen to almost anything you want, at any time, on any device. Have you ever wondered why we have so many choices? What makes this abundance possible? The internet is like a magical shop that sells everything, but no shop can stay in business if the merchandise is free. Unlike physical merchandise, digital content is trivial to copy and give to all your friends. But a store that can only sell one copy of a popular movie will not be in business for long. Technology can help. Traditionally, digital content has been protected with encryption. Using a secret key, the content is encrypted so that only people who know the secret key can decrypt it. The problem is, if I want to allow you to watch the movie or listen to the song, I have got to give you the key. And the key, like all digital information, is easy to copy and share. What we need is a way to protect those keys, some rules that say when and how the keys can be used. And those rules need to be enforced on the devices we use to consume the content. Fortunately, there is such a technology, Digital Rights Management, or DRM for short. In a DRM-enabled system, digital content is encrypted with a key, and that key is bundled up with a set of rules into a digital license. When you tell your set-top box or smart TV to play a movie, DRM software in the device looks at the rules in the license to see if they are satisfied. If so, the system can access the key and decrypt the movie. Most of the time, the rules are very simple. For example, is this subscription account in good standing? Or is this device registered to the family that purchased the content? These rules are designed to stay out of your way as much as possible while protecting the business model for content creators and distributors. After all, we want those great shows to keep on coming. Content protection technologies like DRM have helped to enable this golden age of content. If these technologies did not exist, there would be little financial incentive for the creative industries to continue to invest in making and distributing great new art. But don't think that DRM is only about movie studios and record labels selling you digital media. It is not. Sometimes you are the content provider. Rights management technologies can help to protect your privacy too, ensuring that only people you authorize can access your sensitive information. DRM can be used to protect any digital content. From private documents to medical records to censor data from your autonomous vehicle, the list is endless. As more and more of our lives are lived in a digital world, the need for content protection technologies only increases. 20 years ago, nobody would have imagined an infinite jukebox in the sky that would allow us to listen to any song ever recorded on demand. Now we take it for granted. It only costs 10 bucks a month. Similar revolutions are brewing in other industries, and DRM will play an integral role in bringing them to life. Learn more about DRM by visiting innertrust.com.